What's up, y'all? Welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'll be doing 6010 uh, roots only. I've been having a lot of messages on my uh, Instagram on how to do 6010. I have a lot of new welders that are having trouble, so I decided to do a quick video on how to do 6010. Uh, 6010 is one of my favorite procedures to do. It's actually really fun, but uh, I also had a lot of trouble whenever I started because I didn't have the proper guidance. And I didn't have nobody showing me the correct settings or telling me what I was doing wrong. So today I hope I'm able to show you how to do a badass route. So let's get to it. Okay, here I got a 6 inch schedule 40. I'm running with 186010. Uh, before I get started, uh, I'm running a red face SA200. I have it on third gear. And whenever I started, I started around 30 on the remote. Okay, pro tip number one. Do you see how I have the rod at an angle like this? Never have it straight up and down. If you have it straight up and down, you're going to key hold the uh, pipe too bad and it's going to leave a big old hole on there. So you don't want that. So always have it at an angle and you're going to have that angle through the whole pipe anywhere from when you start from the top all the way to whenever you tighten at the bottom. That's the angle that you want to keep on the pipe. Once again, notice my angle of the rod stayed the same. I'm like around maybe 2 o'clock on the pipe and I still have the same angle. That's how you can keep the pipe from keep holding. So keep on having that angle like that. And like I said, never have it straight. Another good tip is whenever you tighten at the bottom, you usually have to turn it down. You usually use the same heat that you use on the top from 12 to 2. So that's a good another tip to remember to turn it down. And uh, another tip is to use two fingers to hold the rod. That will give you more control of your tie-in. And it helps you out a lot. So uh, make sure you do those things to tie in and get a good root in there. Here I got a 5 inch uh, at 45 degrees. I'm currently using a remote on here. If you just started to learn how to weld, I would highly suggest that you buy one of them. It will help you out a lot and will help you control your heat more. But if you don't have one, you'll probably start running the route around 80 uh, amps. But like I said, make sure that if you could afford it to buy a remote, it will help you out a lot. As I'm welding, notice how I'm dropping my hand and I'm going with the pipe. I don't have that rod inclined too much to the top or inclined too much to the bottom. You want to keep it right in between uh, both of the bevels. Uh, sometimes you do see me wiggling it to the top a little bit and that's because the uh, making sure that it's catching both walls. So whenever you weld it and you're noticing that it's not catching either top or bottom wall, all you have to do is wiggle it towards the wall that you want to catch more. Here I got a 2G. Uh, 12 inch. I'm currently running at 85 amps with the 332 gap. Uh, a 2G weld is usually one of the easiest welds you could do with 6010 simply because the pipe can usually take more heat like this. And if you keyhole, all you have to do is whip out and whip it back in, and you'll be fine. And you can keep doing that through the whole pipe. Uh, it, like I said, it takes more heat. Uh, whenever you do these 2G positions, all you have to do is smash that rod in there, drag it, and push it and go down. Uh, and like I said, if it key holds too much, just whip it out and whip it back in. You want to make sure that rod is right in between both of the bevels so uh, the root doesn't hang. So just keep that in mind. Take a look at this arc shot right here. Notice how my rod is right in between both of the walls. I'm not inclined too much to the top or bottom. That's the position that you want to keep at all times. And notice how it's angled back a little bit. You don't want to angle that rod too much to the front because the root will not look right. If you push it back like I have it right here, uh, you'll have a nice root in there. So keep that in mind. But this is pretty much how you want the uh, rod to be angled at all times whenever you do these 2G positions. 
Here I got a three inch schedule 40 rollout. This is one of the easiest things you will do when it comes to 6010. But you want to make sure you have the heat just perfect because you won't you won't have time to mess with the heat with the remote or you won't have time to stop and fix your machine. So make sure you have that heat perfect. I'm currently running at 80 amps. Uh, that's pretty much all you're gonna need. Uh, notice whenever I start, I start a quarter behind my tag, heat it up. Notice how I just whipped it back, and that's because the keyhole got too big. So whenever the keyhole gets too big, just whip it out and whip it back in, uh, giving it enough time for the keyhole to cool down. So uh, that's pretty much how you fix the keyhole. Uh, another major tip is notice where I'm keeping my uh, rod at. I'm keeping it around 2 o'clock or 3. To me, that's the perfect way to keep it because your pipe will be able to uh, take the most heat and you'll have way more control. Um, so that's why I, uh, I usually do it like that. Like I said, I did it at 80 amps and all you have to do is put the rod in there and spin the wheel as you go. Whenever you do 6010, usually you have a remote, but uh, I know some people don't uh, have one and I don't use one all the time. Uh, I usually just keep it at one heat because I know my uh, pipe sizes and heats. So I decided to do a little chart for y'all to get an idea of where to start. But all machines burn different, so just use this chart to get an idea of where to start at. Go ahead and screenshot it. If not, add me on Instagram and I'll go ahead and send you a message with the document or email it to you, however you want to do it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making them. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, send me a message or a comment right here below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button. See y'all next time.